Jesus. It, it gets worse. Michael Flynn. Michael Flynn. I have to cover the story because I'm sitting back and I'm thinking how lucky Donald Trump was that Michael Flynn lied and lied so sloppily that he got caught and subsequently had to resign because had Michael Flynn not resigned and it had came out later as it did today that Michael Flynn worked for Russian companies, multiple Russian companies as for, as a speaker, as a consultant in different capacities. And it came out that he was uh, working on behalf of the Turkish government. We discovered that last week. And he did all of this without being registered with the U S government as a foreign agent. Had that come out later on, that might have been enough to actually scuttle the Trump administration. So what am I talking about? Um, so Michael Flynn, um, he was paid eleven thousand two hundred and fifty dollars by a Russian air cargo company. Um, he was play, paid eleven another eleven thousand two hundred fifty dollars by a Russian cybersecurity company. Um, the air cargo company was suspended as a vendor by the United States. <laughs> I mean, the cybersecurity company was trying to get more contracts with the U.S. government. And so in many ways, he was lobbying on behalf of these companies or he was in the position to be a lobbyist for these companies. Um, he was paid thirty three thousand dollars to be a speaker by Russia Today, RT, the television network that's funded by fun with Russian funds. Right. I mean, I've got friends over at RT, but they know just like I know that they get their funding from the Russian government. Um, Flynn was paid uh, thirty three thousand dollars, thirty three thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars to be a speaker. Um, and he did all of this without disclosing it, apparently, to the transition team, because I just can't fathom that they would assign this guy who has allegiances and loyalties to the Turkish government and the Russian government, or at least Russian companies, the Turkish government specifically and Russian companies, he has loyalties to them, assigning him to be the national security advisor. So a spokesperson, a spokesperson for Michael Flynn try to, here's their statement. They said, quote, General Flynn, like other government folks, Sign on to a speaker's bureau. And what you're seeing is a result of that giving speeches that he was paid and he was paid to do it. Uh, OK, that's that's fine. Disclose it. I mean, let's can we can we agree that the part the top spy in the U.S., the top security official in the United States should not be a person who is beholden to another government. And in this case, I'm speaking specifically of Turkey ally or not. I mean, he's, he's was a lobbyist on behalf of the government of Turkey and he was being paid by some Russian companies. I, I is it, is it illegal? No, not at all. But should that person be in charge of the NSA? Absolutely not. I mean, this, this shows you, I don't know, either how dismissive they are of the importance of these jobs, right? The significance of these jobs. They're either, and when I, when I say they, I'm talking about the Trump team. Either they knew this and they were like, eh, no big deal. Or they did not do the vetting that's necessary to weed out someone like General, former General Michael Flynn. Um, 